Hey everybody and welcome to Pedro Lola Mendez. My name is Pedro Lola Mendez. You may know me as something else. For example, Pedrita Lolita Mendezita, if your name is Tim Tim, T-I-N as in, no she didn't get my name wrong again, T-I-M as in, maybe she'll get it right one day, who knows. Um, I, <laughs> I want to kind of like take a second, because I don't really post a lot of um, videos on this channel anymore, I really need to again, um, but I was thinking, because this week on Queens of the Week, we were talking about she versus me, and how drag is different from our real self, and talking about the differences. Um, and of course that got me thinking about, like, I, I don't want to say my love life, and I don't want to say romance, just like guys in general. I noticed that, um, I mean, guys definitely tend to respond better to me when they see this half of my face and not this half of my face. And I definitely think that that's a problem. Um, I mean, obviously a problem for me because I don't want to die alone. Um, but I mean, it's it's definitely disheartening because I... I like... I want someone that's going to think that I'm attractive, whether I look like this or this. Um, but definitely on social media, like Instagram, um, stuff like that. Um, I definitely get more likes on my drag pictures. I definitely get, um, more response from, like, guys. But, I mean, I don't, I'm never going to be in drag every day. There's no way that I'm going to go 365 days in a row being in drag. It's not practical for me. Um, so to venture into a relationship where someone's more attracted to me when I'm wearing drag makeup than when I'm not, I'm going to end up kind of being, like, not attracted to whichever of those 365 days I'm not in drag. And when you're kind of getting to the point in your life where you want to start growing up, I, I mean, I'm trying to not be a teenager anymore, I'm 19, I'll turn 20 next year in February, I don't really want to think about like, short-term relationships. I, I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna be stupid and say I'm ready to settle down. I'm only 19. But I don't want to kind of just have, like, party kind of relationships. I don't want to go on, like, grinder scruff, something like that, and be, like, looking for hookups and NSA. I want the SA. I don't want no strings attached. I want the strings attached. I want someone to be committed to me, um, and it's definitely hard to kind of get the courage when you're, I mean, it's easier to be confident in drag because you kind of have a mask, and if someone's not attracted to you, you can paint differently next time, and they're not really going to know who you are if you do a good enough job, but I want someone to be attracted to this side of my face, because that's pretty much what they're going to get. Um, I mean, definitely being a drag queen is hard when it comes to relationships. Um, I think it's great for people like Fifi O'Hara to find love, um, and her boyfriend likes her in and out of drag, of course. Um, I mean, Sharon Needles in Alaska for the longest time were, um, two drag queens, which would make it even more, um, difficult, of course, but, I mean, if they found love, I mean, that's all that really matters, and I definitely want to be able to kind of have the same kind of thing, where I'm comfortable enough in a relationship that they're going to be attracted to me, this side of me, and this side of me, because you can't just have one and not the other, um, I, I mean, I, I think it's an insult when people say, oh, you look way better in drag. It's like, thanks. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? I mean, is there really anything that you can do with that? Can you really just say thank you and not be offended? It just doesn't happen. I mean, the way I take that is when someone says, oh, you're so pretty in drag. I take it as, oh, 
you look like shit without makeup on. That's how I take it. And I have been known to go off on a couple of these random people who would try to say shit like that to me. Um, I take it as a backhanded compliment, even if it's not intended that way. I'm, I mean, I'm sensitive. I am a drag queen, and we're, like, known for being, like, sharp-witted, sharp tongue, Bianca Del Rio, just kind of, like, um, insult comics. But we are really, some of us are really insecure, and some of us are definitely, um, they definitely, uh, shy and modest. Well, I don't want to say modest. I don't know. But do you understand where I'm coming from when I say that? I'm pretty much just talking to a camera, so I'm going to assume some are yes, some are no. Um, I don't really know why I'm making this video. I just wanted to kind of vlog a little bit and kind of just let the internet get in my head. I'm sure that I'll watch this video in a couple years and be like, wow, that's weird. Because, I mean, I look at my videos now. I look at some from, when was it, like 2011 when I started, and I think that I'm an absolute disaster. And, I mean, of course, I'm tempted to take them down, but I won't. Um... Yeah, so it's definitely hard trying to get into a relationship, not only when you're gay, but also when you're a drag queen. It's hard enough to find gay people in your area, at least for me, because I'm in not necessarily a rural area, but not the most open area. Um, so if you do finally find a another gay guy, they also have to be willing to date a drag queen, so it kind of sucks. Um, I mean, so many drag queens and so many trans people and, um, just different people in the community have expressed, um, disappointment with that part of the community itself. Um, I mean, because we're trying to be accepted, meanwhile we don't necessarily accept each other, so it's definitely that dichotomy and a little bit of, uh, hypocrisy going on there, but... Anyways, um, I just kind of wanted to vent a little bit. I'm not necessarily upset about anything. I just kind of wanted people to know that if you ever feel like you are having trouble, I mean, in the dating scene, if you're a drag queen, um, or if you have trouble in the dating scene when you're a transsexual, transgender, or whatever you are more comfortable with being called, that you're not alone. I know for a fact that there are so many, um, so many of us that, that definitely, um, struggle with that fact. Um, some people always want to date the drag queen, and some people always want to date the not drag queen. Um... So yeah, it's definitely a struggle finding someone that can be happy with both of them. But I just wanted to be kind of an influence for um, those of you out there who definitely feel like you're alone, because I've felt like that so many times. Um, and of course I still feel like I'm alone sometimes, but when I really think about it, I know I'm not. Um, so that's the purpose of this video. So helping me vent and hopefully giving you guys... A little bit of encouragement. Um, I don't want to say that it gets better, because I, I don't know. But if I'm ever in a relationship, a long-term relationship, not just a month, a week, two days, I will let you know and share some of my experience, strength, and hope with all of you. Um, I want to thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my social media. The links will be in the video description box below. And I will see you all very soon. Go ahead and check out Queens of the Week if you haven't already subscribed. Um, and definitely subscribe to this channel. Um, it'll definitely give me that little bit of encouragement to make more videos. So, I hope you enjoyed what I had to say. And I hope it helped you, um, even if it was just entertainment. So, I will see you all very soon. And I bid you adieu.